semi long time no see. Just can you catch us up on what you've been doing? Yeah, so this last year, um, since uh, beginning of last summer, I've been uh, moved to Phoenix, been training with the uh, Arizona State University Sun Devils uh, with their program under uh, Bob Bowman. Um, and just, yeah, just been training, competing, representing the Air Force, uh, and really enjoying it. So. What's it like to represent the Air Force because you, I mean, the majority of your days are about swimming? It's, yeah, it's, you know, I, I, I'm super grateful um, just to be in the position I'm, I'm in and um, being able to do what I enjoy doing. And um, it's super fun, you know, um, talking with people from meets, from, from our training group, uh, ex explaining what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and, and kind of what the Air Force is like. And um, So I'm, I'm super grateful for just, again, the whole opportunity. I'd like you to take me through that if you could. What are you doing and why are you doing it? So, yeah, so I'm training for the 2024 uh, Summer Olympic Trials this June. Um, and the hope is that, yeah, um, I'll make it to on the Paris Olympic team and compete, uh, compete there. And, um, yeah, again, uh, uh, representing the Air Force along the way. Did you ever think, you know, in your entire time coming to the academy and swimming at the academy that this dream would be possible? To be honest, no, not until my, my senior year. Um, you know, I, I knew, you know, I'd have, you know, chances while at school, but to be a part of the WCAP program, um, you know, it wasn't until my senior year where I really, you know, thought to myself that I could make it. And, um, but it's, it's been incredible. And, and to say I'm kind of like a pro athlete is, is kind of, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's awesome. So I really enjoy it. That's awesome. Tell me, like, do you see yourself? Have you seen improvements? I mean, I, I don't know how many meets you've got to swim at, but do you feel improvements in yourself and improvements in time? Yeah, I mean, you know, with anything, with any sport, you know, there it ebbs and flows, and you know, go through highs and lows. Um, but overall, yeah, and and I think the biggest thing that I've noticed the difference is, is just like my mental strength and and um, just different um, different philosophies that I've been learning and from from all from the coaches, from all of these different athletes who are incredible athletes who have who have been on that world stage, and it's super fun to learn from them and. Uh, to be a part with of them um, and train with them. I mean, just every practice, you know, you look to your left and right, and you know, there's Olympians, world champions, medalists. So, so it's super, uh, super awesome to be a part of that group. I also want to ask you, what does this do for you, like as a leader? Because you're in the WCAT program, but you're going to go back into the Air Force. What is this experience teaching you that maybe you wouldn't have been able to learn just going and starting to serve right away? So again, going going back to what I said earlier, like I, to be honest, I've learned more about myself than I ever thought I would. Um, and in terms of specifically just what I'm capable of, you know, just going through the nitty gritty of just, for example, hard practice and overcoming that. And um, I think just that alone has has. Uh, made me learn again just so much more about myself than I ever thought I could and and yeah I do hope to translate that I uh, translate that into when I re-enter back into the active air force and go into pilot training and um, you know hope to share that with people that's fantastic goal I mean obviously you want you want to make the Olympic team but lots of people want to make the Olympic team very few do you've won races you've lost races before do you feel like this calling inside of you like I've got to get this done or how do you view this opportunity um, you know I, I keep the goal in mind but you know the what I really try to focus on is just the day in and day out just every single day every little practice um, not worrying about the future not worrying what happened in the past just staying pre uh, in the present you know what can I do at this moment to really uh, to make that goal that dream possible um, and and that has slowly built my confidence up for, for this summer. Fantastic. Wynn, thanks for the time. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. Thank you, Brian. Appreciate it.